Apex Igbo Social Cultural Organization, Ohaneze Ndibo, says that the Nigerian army is allegedly clamping down on Igbo youths as well as secretly killing them. The group in a statement by its spokesperson, Chief Alex Ugunaya, said the army was labeling random youths in the region members of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, and the Eastern Security Network as an excuse to arrest and kill them without any evidence. The, Ap the Igbo Apex body queried why the military could not go after gun-wielding criminals and criminal headsmen invading Igbo communities who are kidnapping for ransom, killing, raping, and destroying farmlands instead of abducting Igbo youths from their villages, profiling them as IPOP and Eastern Security Network and taking to unknown destinations. It said, what the army was doing was a calculated attempt to subdue the Southeast by a military dominated by one section of the country for Fulani headsmen to overrun Igbo communities. It said, what the army was doing was a calculated attempt. The statement reads, the attention of Ohaneze and the Igbo World Wild has been drawn to an ongoing massive arrest of Igbo youths by the Nigerian army. The report indicates that the military personnel suspected to be led by the 34 Artillery Brigade, Oweri, since on Sunday has been arresting male residents and youths, particularly in Oguta and Ohaji communities, and clamping them into vehicles and vans and taking them to unknown destinations. Such actions runs contrary to every sense of natural justice and rights of citizenship for the army to invade some Igbo communities in search of youths, most of whom are brilliant university graduates whose society has denied employment and sense of belonging. For the armed forces to arrest the Igbo youths without evidence of arms means of violence or crime is cowardly, uncivilized, and mostly unacceptable to Ohaneze and Igbo. We stand on a firm wicket that it is ruthless to arrest any Igbo in the guise of membership of a terrorist organization unless there is sufficient evidence of crime or unlawful possession of firearms. We call on the Chief of Army Staff Major General Ibrahim Atihiru to ultimately stop the wave of arrests before it gives impetus to the proposal by the United Kingdom Visas and Immigration Offer Asylum to persons who actively and openly support IPOP and likely to be at risk of arrest or detention and ill treatment, which is likely to amount to persecution. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it is, as it were? This is a very, very precarious situation and precarious time that we live in as it is. But uh, the rate at which the military, you know, attacked people in the Southeast is um, alarming, honestly speaking. While in the northern part of the country, this is not done. It is really, really sad and unfortunate that the Southeast governors and Southeast leaders and elites are folding their arms, keeping quiet and watching how things really go bad. It is really, really uncalled for, and I start to be corrected. Well, let's take a few reactions and hear what people are saying concerning this particular news story as it were. Mike Wokeji says, Ohaneze's message must be strong and resolute. This is not the time for meek and diplomatic language. Ndibo must not allow the enemies of their people to use the usual pretext to start arresting and killing their young ones. Enough is enough. Well, the message to take home here is that Ndibo's message must be strong and resolute. It is not a time for meek and diplomatic language. Well, I subscribe to what um, Mike Mokeji is saying because uh, the 
Southeast Governors Igbo leaders, allies as it were, must rise up and uh, be strong about it, or else the future of the Igbos will be at stake as the youths are being uh, taken away. It may not be their children today, but tomorrow their children might just be involved or their children might not have peace as a result of this particular step. So whatever they do today, they must have it at the back of their mind that indirectly or directly it is going to affect them and their children and even those yet unborn. It is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Jeremiah Abraham says there's a secret war ongoing. Time to defend our territory starting from the north of Biafra, Benue. A strong secret component must be deployed. Time to protest and talks is over. Sorry, time for protest and talks is over. It's time for action, says Jeremiah. Else they will finish the driving force of the Biafran economy who are the youths. Well, guys, what do you think? Well, this will lead to confrontations and war, if possible, you know, but the Southeast leaders must find a way to address these issues, whether they like it or not, or else there will, there, there's going to be their consequences. Kalu K.O. says, the leadership of this Ohane is a Southeast governors, senators, House of Representatives, federal government ministers, ETC, will never experience peace in their lives and homes for all their eye service and evil they are doing unless they turn away from their evil ways okay we hope they might they will i will hope they will turn nick Knight says the oppressed will rise against the oppressors and will cap and the captives shall be free again i'm sure it will not continue like this forever may the land of the rising sun emerge and protect her sons and daughters all right, that is the desire and that is the prayer. The war has begun already. I urge all the Biafran youths to always stay foot and remain vigilant because these Janjaweeds in uniform are merciless. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it is? We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Well, drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Don't forget to share this news story with your friends, family, relations and loved ones. Thank you so much guys. I appreciate your support and I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.